It's your Peace Sermon Preview. Here we go. Peace. This week's Bible reading from Isaiah 65, 17 to 25 makes me think and dream of peace. I have for so long thought that peace was possible by focusing on the things we agree about. People should have enough to eat. People should have places to live. People should have access to medical care. All people should be treated with the same decency and respect. And while I still believe that most people agree on the basics, I don't think they're as universal as I once thought. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together. The lion shall eat straw like the ox, but the serpent, its food shall be dust. They shall not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain, says the Lord. Can the wolves Lambs, lions, oxen, even the serpent find common ground to serve God together? Can we paint enough peace murals and touch enough hearts that peace is possible? Can we just keep trying regardless? Can we reach enough to people who have endured devastation and need immediate and long-term help? Can we just keep trying regardless? Can we stop bombing each other? I'll see you Sunday.